Justin. Hey guys, it's Andrew with Long Range Gear. Today I want to talk about um, NV4500 fifth gear um, issues and solutions on these NV4500s. So, um, Becky, if you come on in here, you'll see that um, on this rebuild and every rebuild that we do, we utilize a full spline main shaft. This is a brand new piece. We always put a brand new piece in so we get fresh splines right here. Uh, we always also get a new fifth gear. These things are super cheap. There's no reason not to replace them. Uh, but then we have fresh splines on the inside. They are still a slip fit, but they retain like a good solid, um, you know, their, their shape basically to minimize the gap between the two. So when we actually apply or when we, um, when we install fifth gear, we use this stuff. It's kind of expensive, Loctite 620, but it's exceptionally good. And we put a ton of this in there. Uh, when this stuff cures, I actually have to use a puller to get this thing off, um, like a really nice puller. Um, that stuff is super, super great for steel splines and uh, bearing races, anything like that. So we're going to assume that's on there, um, and that, that has to cure for about a day or so. And then the design of this main shaft, you'll see there's a gap. Maybe I'll remove this. To sh there's a gap with a recession in there, like a machined, um, yeah, a, mach a machined little... Um, recession that's for these little guys so these little split moons fit right inside just like this okay and they fit into that recession and then there's this uh, outside retaining ring that goes on there and so as you can see as long as those things are held in place that gear can't back off and then part of our fifth gear nut um, kit here it comes with a concave washer so you'll see it's kind of bowed um, kind of like this. So the, the side, um, basically the narrow end will point this way and the big end will point that way. And so you'll slide that on there and that butts up pretty closely with that ring. We'll end up installing the nut just like this. You know, you'll see how it goes. I'm not going to do it right now, but, um, the, uh, there's, there's one staking surface right there and one staking surface right there. So you just use like a nice, you know, like a punch like this, get a really good stake down into that pocket. And then um, they don't do a whole lot, but these little set screws with the brass, what I'll do is I'll set the brass piece into the pocket. I'll use a punch. Um, I'll uh, basically you're, you're adapting it to the threads, like smashing it down in there and then using some Loctite on those as well. Uh, I forgot to mention that we use a ton of red Loctite on the nut when it's installed and we torque it to um, 325, 350, somewhere like that. You really don't need to go past that if you use this prescribed method. It, it just won't come loose. It's like a three-person job to get it. You know, I'll have to have somebody up here sitting right there um, and somebody holding the case down on this side and then a big, uh, I have a six-foot torque wrench that I use for the breaker bar if I ever have to get back into mine. Um, and you'll see that, you know, we got this nice, really sturdy table here <clears throat> and I use this piece of angle iron, this, uh, this, this strapping, not angle iron. Uh, it's got lots of holes in it. I have a hole in this really heavy quarter plate angle iron right here that comes up. And basically when you torque it, it just prevents it from rocking. And at 325 or 350 foot pounds um, going this way, this works really well. It just, it holds, it doesn't stress the case, doesn't crack it, anything like that. That's how you can apply that torque really well. Um, so this is how we solve the fifth gear nut issues and it has worked extremely well with good preparation, um, lots of cleaning, using the appropriate amount of the locking compounds and a good stake. Um, as long as you do that, I know a lot of guys are hesitant to replace their main shaft, it's really worth it. As long as you do that, um, you'll have a lot of years of really good service from your fifth gear. Thanks guys. Uh, Long Range Gear on Instagram, www.lrgdiesel and our shop number, uh, 509-499-0760. Thanks.